And so I'm here today with my Brazilian wool braids. Hi the people of the interweb, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ukachi, to this channel. Hi, how are you? I create content around natural hair, beauty and lifestyle. If you have other kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're to this channel, welcome back home. So guys, today I'm here serving looks, baby girl looks, baby girl vibes, good energy, long time, no long term protective style. So I'm here today with my Brazilian wool braids. Fam, you guys are used to see me in twist, 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 twist and more twists. But fam, today I am here serving you Brazilian wool braids because I can, okay? So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the pros and cons of this, this hairstyle of my head, okay? So without further ado, you know how we do, let us get right into the video. Okay guys, so first things first, first disclaimer, there is no tutorial on how to DIY this style. Why? The day I made this style, I was very angry and I was too stressed. I'm going to explain that further in my... In my 30 day head, just check out that playlist. You probably see me talking about it. I was so stressed. My week one 30 day head detox. I was so stressed and I wasn't liking anything. So I just said to just make my hair. Yeah, you, you heard that right. I said to just make my hair. I just said to do this and I didn't very little tonight and it took me about like five hours. Um, but I was a solution guy. I'm an engineer student. So we are here to provide solutions. I have my last year's DIY yarn boost tutorial. I'm going to have that video linked here. It's doing really well on, on YouTube and I'm very happy. I think he has almost a thousand views, guys. Almost a one thousand views, guys. So you can also always check that one out for tutorial on how to do yarn braids. I also have another one on how to do regular canekalon attachments, regular braids now with braiding hair. Oh, I, did one, I did that one on Uloma's hair, so you can also check that one out linked here. Second video I'm linking, okay. Then another disclaimer is. Um, yeah, I remember the third disclaimer. I'm so sorry, I forgot. I got carried away. I did a pros and cons video of um, Baby Wool last year, and that video also is doing very well on it. It has like 14,000 views. Damn! So, <laughs> I'm so excited. So, I'm here today, guys, to give you guys one for Brazilian wool. So, let us get right into it, okay? I want to do pros first. Good vibes, then bad vibes, okay? The first pro of this hairstyle, obviously, you can see I've had this one for about almost a week. I know it looks rough. Stop looking at me some type of way. I didn't make it to be neat. But my first pro for this hairstyle, it gives your scalp a chance to just rest. Your scalp, just like baby wool, this one gives your scalp the chance to just... to hold itself. So let's say you have, like, you've been experiencing, like, constant scalp irritation because you're constantly making your hair. Your scalp is just fed up with life. Slap on Brazilian wool and you might be good to go, okay? So this really gives your scalp a chance to just rest and just for your hair to grow. Can you see? I made this firm view. It gives your hair the chance to just rest and your scalp the chance to just breathe. You know your scalp does not have respiratory organs, like breathing organs, but you give your, your scalp a chance to breathe, okay? Hey guys, so the next proof for this hairstyle, guys, this hairstyle is cheap as shit. <laughs> it's cheaper than using regular braiding attachment to let me not cap. Again, give us a breakdown of what this cost me. Workmanship, I give it myself, so zero naira. The hair itself cost me anywhere between like 3,000 to 4,005. I really can't remember. You guys know me. When it comes to like making my hair, because I'm doing it by myself, I just procrastinate. So I bought this, this Brazilian wool. I bought it like in June. I made it like last week of July. So you can see the level of procrastination. So if I want to buy, was it June I bought it? I didn't buy it in June. No. I bought part of it in January. And I bought the other parts in June. <laughs> it took me six months to finally do this hairstyle, guys. I am the worst. But anywho, but it cost me anywhere between 3000 to 4000 And mine is really thick. Can you see the thickness? And it goes all the way to my waist. This is waist for me. This is waist length. So it goes all the way to my waist. Some of them were actually below my, like almost like past my bum. But I cut them so that they can have almost the same length. But this one is like waist, standard waist length. The shortest one is like waist length. And... I spent it in like 3k to 4k and for those that are not in nigeria 3k to 4k is like six dollars to eight dollars ha but normally if i want to get the same style done with like regular braiding attachments i would buy like three packs of attachments at least three to get like this size and this length three packs of attachments and that would cost me like oh it's cost me like if i'm going like one five times three four five Minus the actual stress and I will still get to something else. I can't reuse attachments, but I can reuse like Brazilian wool and I can reuse wool in general. So there is no like 
So when it's three thousand naira for let's say like let's say you're saying like four K, but I can use it like two times. That's two K per use. But attachment is like four five, and I can use it only once, and that is four five per use. So this is actually very cheap. To be very honest, it's very cheap. And in fact, that I can reuse. That's also another pro. You can reuse like wool. So if I take this and I can reuse it to just redo another style, that is a pro because that's that really helps to save cost. Okay. My next pro is that it is safe for your scalp. Okay. So I've seen people say that regular attachment, regular braiding attachment, can I call an expression down attachment irritates their scalp because of the chemicals they put in when they're making it. So some people go ahead and wash the attachment before they use it. But for wool, guys, wool is like you're saying like you're buying their crochet shirts. Can I? I don't think wool. Wool like people that wool irritates is very little. I know there are exceptions to you, but I think it's very little. So this doesn't irritate your scalp. As I said earlier, it gives your scalp a chance to just relax. And it also doesn't irritate your scalp. You can rub, rub against your scalp and it is not a big deal. Okay. My next pro is that this actually works very well for both relaxed hair and natural hair. Like many people will be like, the reason I can't find with Brazilian wool was actually because I saw it on relaxed hair. It looked so beautiful. And on my natural hair too. I think I'm serving looks today. Am I not? I am. Yeah, even though my hair is like all oh, scruffy, but I am saving looks today, nevertheless. Okay, but this actually is very beautiful, especially on relaxed hair. So, like, on like baby will also do a, um, a comparison video between baby will and Brazilian will. Like, baby will that if you use it in natural, it looks better on natural hair. Brazilian will goes for like looks very good on natural hair and looks very good on relaxed hair. Like, I, I would almost say it looks better on relaxed hair because the texture is very smooth. Just like relaxed hair. Okay, so now let us go to the cons. We've been serving you good guys, good vibes since. What are the cons? The first con for me, fam, this thing is heavy. My neck, they pay me. As I said in the other day, the young braid, my neck, they pay me. This thing is heavy. <laughs> it is so heavy. Like, hair normally is not heavy for me because I have it, like, I think I have a very big hair that can carry like a lot of weight. But wool is not the lightest. Brazilian wool <laughs> is heavier. It's actually quite heavy. Many people always ask, it's heavy. It's not like my neck is hurting me that, oh no, I'm used to like doing this, fam. But like for the average person, not many people can pull off a waist length, this kind of thickness Brazilian wool. Not many people can. I used almost, I probably used like, it's anywhere between like 15 and 18 Brazilian wools. Not many people can use 15. Some people just use six and they're done. I'm using like somewhere like 18 Brazilian wools, so you can imagine. Yeah. The next thing is that, let's not cap, there's really no, this style doesn't give your hair the chance, it doesn't give you the chance to clean your hair appropriately or properly. Let me explain it. Some people say, oh, shampoo your hair in a protective style, fam. Do I really want to be shampooing my hair with Brazilian wool that is this? If water should get a hold of this thing, it will be like almost be double in size, in like weight. That must be carrying like one kg on my neck. <laughs> and it take a very hot minute for it to dry. It doesn't like just lose water like that. It is wool. You guys know how wool loves holding on to water. So even if I blow dry it, so what's not the point of washing it? Because I'll blow dry it. My hair is hyper, so just dry inside and it's just like a lose-lose situation. So this doesn't give you the chance for you to like clean your hair appropriately. Even I'm going to do a video on how to like take care of your scalp later on. So watch out for that video, okay? But this doesn't give you a chance to work to like go in and shampoo, okay? Next is that let's not cap. This is not it's not as easy to style. Most of the time when I do, I can do like a lot of styles with it, but I always end up with the same style. Let me show you guys the style. This is, this is always my style when I do wool. The two at the back. See, this is this is this is this is literally my this is how I am 24-7. No matter the occasion, this is how I pull off any occasion once I do wool. So because the styles are like very fancy, but can your neck carry it for a long period of time? As I said before, it's very heavy, so that's also a con, okay? My next thing is that. My next um, con is that if you install this wrong, this one that doesn't like you install this thing for you, you might not have edges. Your edges are guaranteed to chop. This one that doesn't like you. See now, my hair is just warming up. I'm telling me, I catch you, it's already rough. Because I value having edges. I love having edges. Don't you love having edges? I really do. I don't know about you, but me, <laughs> I do. This one that doesn't like you installs this thing for you. Bruh. Just say RIP to your edges. Your edges will be resting in peace because they will be resting in peace, they'll resting in sadness because you took them away. Their journey was cut short. <laughs> For you, it's not like I've seen situations of people that do Brazilian wool constantly. The hair is long from like here back, but like here, the wool has pulled because they install it so tightly. They pick everything. And wool is not something that, oh, it will expand and contract and then you're done. No, it will just stay there and be pulling on your edges. So if someone doesn't like installs this thing, for you, brah. 
just pack your edges inside hand and go and throw it in the dustbin. And I will feel really bad for you, but I have an edges tutorial video linked here. So you can always check that one out if you've lost your edges, okay? So those are my pros and those are my cons. It's very cheap. It gives your scalp the chance to just relax. You can reuse the wool and save cost. It's very safe for your scalp. It doesn't irritate your scalp. And it's beautiful on both relaxed and natural hair. My cons is that for people that are like not like me, it's heavy for them. There's no chance for you to actually clean your scalp and your hair appropriately. It's not as easy to style. By the way, I forgot to plug myself. Shameless plug. I have a styling yeah, um, braids. I think it's both Brazilian wool and normal attachment braids linked here. Shameless plug. Check it out. Okay. Um, and if you install it wrongly, you might just lose your, your babies in the front. Okay. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned anything or two. Woo! Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Natural Kachi. I'm also on TikTok at Natural Kachi. I'm on YouTube at Natural Kachi. I'm on Pinterest. I think I'm Natural Kachi Deo, so I'm not sure. Please check it out and tell me if I'm Natural Kachi Deo, okay? Subscribe to my channel. And if you video up to this point, please put comments like a red heart emoji. Like, keep the comments filled up with the red heart emoji. Just send me love. Let me catch it young, okay? Subscribe. I think I'll see you guys in my next video. Please remember that God is watching you, so give God an amazing show. Bye! Ah, see how she did stand for a corner If you know man, I go like me to call her She say she like up, then me look at the color If I forget the name, I go use blue color Ah, see how she did stand for a corner If you know man, I go like me to call her She say she like up, then me look